You have reached Red Steel Dust Toy Collection Review. I'm your man, Red Steel. And today, I'll be reviewing G.I. Joe Classified Series Destro. G.I. Joe Classified Series Destro. But before I get to the actual review, I just want to go over some of the fantastic details on this packaging. Up front here, you have Tipple's Play when I'm showing you both the figure and all his accessories inside. In the corner here, you have the 4 Plus, which is the age requirement for this figure. Then over here, you have the G.I. Joe logo. Below that, it says Destro. Then over here, it says Cobra Enemy. In the center here, you have this beautiful vintage illustration of Destro. Then in the corner here, you have the old school Hasbro emblem. Then the back of the packaging here, again you have the G.I. Joe logo, in the center you have a file card which reads Destro. Below that you have his profile picture, then over here you have Cobra. Then over here you have his real name, James McCullen the 24th. Role, enemy weapon supplier. Primary specialty, weapon manufacturer. Secondary specialty, sabotage. Birthplace, unknown. Then over here it says, Destro is the faceless power behind Mars, the largest manufacturer of state-of-the-art weaponry. Then in the center here, you have a cross of all the available figures. G.I. Joe Classified Series Retro Cardback Destro. Destro was released on January 1st, 2023 with the suggested retail price of $24.99 and is available exclusively at Walmart. Destro was released along with the other G.I. Joe Classified Series Retro Cardback Wave 1 figures, Lady J, Baroness, and Gung Ho. Destro has multiple points of articulation for dynamic posability. His accessories include his rifle, pistol, attache case, and stand. Destro stands 6 inches tall and he is meant for fans ages 4 and up. Now that Destro on my display table. So we'll go over some of his play features and accessories. First, I talk about his display stand. This display stand has got some really cool features. You got some mold detail right here, which is the Cobra Insignia. You got some more mold detail up here. I'm not sure it's for a nameplate. Another cool thing about this display stand is it's exclusive to the retro cardback figures. Unfortunately, these display stands do not come with the mainline G.I. Joe Classified Series figures, which kind of stinks because there are a lot of figures I have from the mainline that need these display stands. So I kind of hope that moving forward, Hasbro releases their classified figures with display stands. But in order to put Destro on this display stand, you have a couple pegs right there and right there. Well, on the bottom of his feet, you have a couple portholes right there and right there. And it takes a little bit of force. I'm not sure if it's a mold situation, but Destro kind of puts up a little bit of fight when you put him on this display stand. And he has a new figure also too, so the pegs kind of got to conform to the the size of the peg. But I have Destro on his display stand, so now I can like rotate the display stand around so you guys, you guys can see him from all angles. Because I know a lot of times when I do these reviews with some of these figures, and especially with G.I. Joe Classified Series figures, you do not stand when I rotate my display table. But the next accessory I want to go ahead and bring in is this attached case. And this attached case does open up and it shows a little bit of mold detail on the inside, which is kind of cool. You get the Mars computer with keyboard right there. The keyboard is painted out of like a metallic paint. And I'm not sure if this is a sticker detail or paint detail. Let me zoom in on it. Very nicely done. And of course, you got money right here. This case does open and close, and I'm kind of fearful of opening and closing it too much. You got some stress marks in the back of the, the briefcase right here. And the cool mold detail right here, you got the Cobra Insignia there and there. And I know I've seen other briefcases with the Mars logo on it, so I'm not sure if this is more based on the vintage design. I'm going to close that case up. In order to put Destro, I'll put the case in Destro's hand, you kind of have to pry his fingers open, and you have to slip it in there before it conforms back to its original spot because. These, these fingers are pretty 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 tight, but you can actually move the fingers enough so you can get the case in there before it conforms to the original um, shape. 
So the next accessory I'm going to bring in is this pistol. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. Lots of great mold detail in this pistol. You don't really have the barrel detail. It's, it's kind of small. You have some trigger right there. And every single one of the G.I. Joe Classified Series figures do have a trigger finger detail, which is really cool. So you can arm Destro with this pistol and even put the finger around the trigger. Just like that. Let me see if I can get it in there. Pull his finger out. Because you can do that to most of the G.I. Joe Classified Series figures. And I have it right there. So now you have him armed with this pistol. Very, very cool. And you can also store this pistol on um, Destro, which is a cool detail with these G.I. Joe Classified Series figures because they have holsters. And these holsters are actually functioning holsters where you can actually put your weapons inside the holster, which is really, really cool. Because the last accessory I want to go and bring in is this rifle. And this is this vintage rifle that comes with the, the original figure. And I believe he does come with a pistol too, and I know he comes with a briefcase, at least the original figure. But we'll arm him with this pistol, same thing, you just put the, tr the handle right into his hand. And you can put the trigger finger right into where the trigger is supposed to be. And now you have Destro armed with his rifle, you got his pistol in his holster, and you got his briefcase right here. Very nicely done. Another cool thing they did too was they, they molded a separate um, necklace right there, and it's molded out like a rubbery plastic. And I'm sure if I pull the head off, you can take the necklace off. But I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna do that because that's you know these figures are not really interchangeable. But there's a lot of great detail in this figure, and as a kid, I always loved Destro. He's one of my favorite characters on the animated series, and I think it was a combination of how he looks and how they wrote him into the storyline, and plus his voice. I mean, he had a very powerful voice in the series. Very, very cool. And I'm glad that they came out with the retro cardback figures that are based more on the retro look because. I mean, I missed out on Destro in the original mainline G.I. Joe Classified series, and I'm not sure if there's much difference between this one, because I never got my hands on him, but I'm just glad that they re-released him for the Retro Cardback figure, and I grabbed them instantly when I knew it was coming out. Very cool figure, lots of points of articulation. I know there's a funky thing with his leg, but I'm sure maybe it's just on my specific Destro, but the foot's not really straight, and I tried straightening it out, but I mean, it really doesn't really cause any issues. Because the other leg's perfectly fine. But he's got lots of points of articulation. He's got ankle articulation. There's also a ball socket, so you can move the foot around. You got the boot detail right here where, it's, where it's, you, can, you can turn it side to side. Double jointed knees. You got this thigh articulation. You got hip articulation. You got waist, elbow, wrist, shoulder. You have butterfly where it goes in and out a little bit. You have head detail where it only goes side to side though. It's not really on a ball socket joint. So. I'm guessing you can't really pop his head out to, to interchange it with the, any other figures. But you have a lot of great mold detail. I mean, this is a paint, this is possibly a paint detail. It looks like it may, yeah, it's a paint detail. And the, the, the wrist gauntlet here and the gloves and the head are all painted out of like a metallic silver paint. So if you shine to certain angles of the light, you get that metallic luster. Very nicely done. I don't know if I could get a good look at his, his head sculpt. This is very nicely done. I know the original figure had like a um, a chroming done. I'm kind of glad they got away from that because the chroming does chip and over time it does flake off. So I'm glad they went with the metallic paint and they were able to perfect the, the type of paint that, that's used for the metallic detail because it does have that great luster. I mean, it's not, a, it's not a mirror image, but it doesn't have to be. And even the belt right here for the holster is, is molded out of sep separate detail. And I noticed when mine slides up, there's a little gap between the, the torso and the waist, which I'm kind of glad that this this um, the accessory is there because it kind of covers up that little gap. But his figure is just so nicely done. I'm I'm just so happy to have them, and I'm I'm just I'm big on the retro cardback figures because I haven't been disappointed yet. But if you guys found any of the information in this review valuable, please like and share this video. Also, if you really enjoy my content. Please subscribe to my channel and while you're there, click the bell to be notified of any future videos. I want to thank you guys for watching Rad Seals Awesome Toy Collector Review. I'll check you guys out next time.